You want to do the intro? Go ahead. I'm too sexy for my body. Too sexy for my body. Too sexy, yeah. Turn the lights off. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Wine TV. I'm your host, Wayne, and on today's show, we're going to talk about, about one of the iconic wineries of, of Australia, which is Penfolds. And these two wines here are exceptional. So when we come back, we're going to go through and taste the Penfolds Bin 128 and Bin 389. See you in a minute. Monique. Hello. Hey, babe. Ciao. How are you? Good. You look great. Thank you. I'm comfortable. You I'm, look comfortable. You know, it's a casual day. It is. This is a casual wine show with casual me and casual you. And it's getting so nice outside. What do I say we start doing some of these shows outside? We should. We should start. I mean, it's Sh supposed to be summer soon. Yeah, well, we're going to start showcasing parts of Portland. And if you guys have never visited the Portland, Oregon area, guys, it is a BEA beautiful city. We've got nine bridges, and the Willamette River runs really high right now because of all the snowpack and, and, and Mount Hood, and it's just a great time to come visit. So think about visiting Portland, Oregon. The problem with Portland, it's stuck between Seattle and San Francisco. That's right. That's the only problem we have. If you're into food, wine, and distilled spirits, it's amazing. Actually, Monique, you work at, uh, well, you don't work at, but you help promote who? Big Bottom Whiskey. Big Bottom Whiskey. Yes. So. American straight bourbon, it's the good stuff and we're local, so. It's made right here in Portland, isn't it? Yes. Oh, tell everybody, do you know how many distillers we have downtown? Oh my goodness, I think there's probably five. 21. 21? 20, 21, I'm not Has kidding. Has it grown you. to 21? Yeah, I'm not kidding, I'm not busting your balls. You shouldn't have your balls to bust, but I'm not busting That's them. That's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Guys, you know, we have more microbreweries per capita than any other city. We have more distilleries per capita. Right. And diners, drive-ins, and dives loves us here. They just, they do. They just, they think that we have the best, we have the best food carts. You know? That's true. We I do. just tried some in Southeast Portland. They're great. We should do a late night show there. That'd be fun. Yeah. We'll plan on that. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do a lot yeah. of stuff. Anyway, what we're going to talk about today are Penfolds, and Penfolds is one of those iconic wineries, and the most famous wine coming out of Australia, I think, is Grange, Grange, and it's generally three, four, five hundred dollars a bottle. The neat thing with the first wine we're going to try, it's called a Baby Grange. It's the Bin 389, and it was first made in 1960, and it's thirty-six dollars a bottle, and it's. It's a Cab Shiraz blend. Why they call it a baby grains? Because when they get done making the grains, the barrels are used for this bottling. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty cool. So let's give this a little whirl. This is 52% Cab, 48% Shiraz. And for those of you who have never had Australian Shirazes, and for those of you that know me, know that I absolutely love them. And so this is first made, like I said, 1960, this blend. and. You know, when you look at when you look at Penfolds, named after a doctor, 1811, uh, went to medical school. I think he graduated in 1838. Some parts of their family, and and it's just one of those things that goes back 250 years. It's just about 200 about 200 years. I don't know, my math is way off sometimes, but it's just it's just a nice wine. And Penfolds makes a lot of different wines. Mm -hmm. And to, to keep them consistent, uh, given the vintages, I mean, I have a good friend of mine uh, who worked the harvest in Australia this year, and it, he said it rained. It rained, it rained, it rained. And uh, Jason, talking about you, unfortunately, and they use all machines to harvest their fruit down there. Oh. Even the peanut was machine harvested. He was, he was kind of taken aback because everything up here in Portland, the Willamette Valley, is, is hand it's harvested. harvested. You know, so once you start, you know, mixing up with the machines and all that rain they had this year, very interesting. You know, as the, as the global weather patterns are changing, I was reading an article earlier today about Italy and how they keep planting these grapes at a higher elevation, and it's yeah. just, you know, what are they going to do I after know. a while? Because things are warming up. We got we got to really embrace that right. and plant grape varietals accordingly. All right, so let's talk about the Bin 389. 36 bucks a bottle. Good blend stone. I like I like the nose on these. They're very earthy, very rustic. Oh yeah. You know. I went ahead and started tasting. That's okay. A little licorice on that nose, just a little yes. bit. A little cotton candy, a little cedar box. I think this will benefit from aging as well. Mm -hmm. 
Not the huge fruit bombs that I'm used to in the past. Mm -hmm. That's where the Cabernet really mellows out the Shiraz. Yeah. And it's nice, so it's... I would age this for a few more years. Well, you can live this wine down for a good, good eight to ten years. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, but there's a certain point in life when you get so old, how much longer do you want to age your wines, right? <laughs> Don't tell that to a 30-year-old, tell that to a 50-year-old. So <laughs> it's like, wow, pimping ain't easy when you're this old. I love Cab Syrahs blends. Those are always good. Yeah. Um, oh, and a lot of people ask me, Syrahs and Syrah, is it the same grape? It is technically the same grape, but Syrahs is the Australian name. Syrah is an American name for the grape. The dingo ate my baby. <laughs> you know, you got, you got those, those Australian people, they got the really cool accents, right? They do. They eat kangaroo. Yeah, they're pretty cool peeps. I like them. I like the peeps. They eat kangaroos. Of course. Do they Asians eat cats. A cab. Um, blend? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, if I drink so, enough. <laughs> our pairing with this is kangaroo. If I and drink enough. And if you're enough, vegetarian, then. It's kangaroo. Do a curry dish. <laughs> with kangaroo. Um. <laughs> Just don't let it get stuck in your teeth. A lot of people in Portland are kind of. Well, we live in Portland. Yeah. It's in the Keep Portland Weird sticker. Yeah. That's starters. And then, um, so yesterday, no, on Saturday night, I'm cruising here to my wine shop. I went out to dinner. I just wanted to come back here, get my computer and a couple things, right? The cops had all these streets just blocked off. Right. There was the, the annual riding your bike naked. 4,000 plus bike riders, may I say. Was it only 4,000 this year? Oh, God knows. You know, it was maybe more. I don't know. 25 minutes I stood there watching, you know, shrinkage. Nice ones, small ones, heavy ones, skinny ones. Quite the cornucopia of wine. It kind of reminds me of wine. I was looking for you. Because wine is really diversified. I was, I was looking for you. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't find you anywhere. No, I was on the East Coast <laughs> nude by cry. Really? Yeah. I was, I was on a, yeah. Maybe if I can come back as a seat next year. <laughs> So wrong. That is it. That's it's it's so wrong in all the so, right ways. As far as this wine goes, um, get this wine, lay it down for a while, um, try it once a year, see how it starts, you know, yeah. maturing. But I think about three years, this will be, you know, on my my level. Mark that on your calendars. Three years from now. All right. Next wine. This is just 100% Shiraz. Um, this is the bin 128. This is 26 dollars a bottle, and Let's see what this has to uh, The first time this was made was 1962. Okay, so plum I was color. very young in 1962. You? I'll we'll just say you weren't even considered of being born yet. You're right. All right, so 1962, um, you know, these wines need to open up a little bit. I agree. Again, yeah, so a little parsley, a little licorice. Yes, yes. A little parsley. You know, people have all these vegetables and all these things you can pull out of wines. Uh, this is very interesting. Little roast from marshmallows. I don't get so much of the spice on this. Raspberry. Raspberry. Get a little black, Raspberry. Little black pepper. It it, when you taste this, then you get the fruit. Um, so I don't like the nose too much on this one, but as you taste it, it's it's got potential. 2008. It rained, I know, in October, November. Okay. So it was, it was kind of a dry winter, actually, down there for them. Mm. And a drier summer. Um, not the real opulent fruit, no. but this is more rustic. It, oh, yeah. This is not horrible by any means. I mean, this is, hell, I'll drink it. Um, it has potential. Like Again, me. laying it down for a little bit. Like yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can just call me Ben 129. Leave it alone for a little bit. Let it sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, it like, think, let it think about all right, what it needs we're to about... do to change in the bottle. <laughs> really? And then when it's ready to come out, it's ready to come out. I'm here. Yeah. Oh, I just came out. I just oh, <laughs> I came out the wrong way, didn't I? Stop. <laughs> you just never know how this package is going to come out. <laughs> now you're showing your true colors. I know, aren't I? Huh? <laughs> Stop it, Stanley. <laughs> All right, on that note, did you go to the pride, did you go to the gay pride parade yesterday? I, I did for a little bit. Did you? Um, I had to work. I was giving wine tours all day on Father's Day. Oh, Can you believe that? Sorry. It's okay. Well, happy late Father's Day. Thank you very much. You too. Actually, to your I'm baby's a single daddy. mom. I know you so, are. Yeah, I'm You're like a, a dad. She's a hot single mom, isn't she? <laughs> Look at her. All right, um, guys, on the next show, we are going to focus on a different wine. I don't know. We think we do some Rieslings in the next show or oh, something. Oh, yeah.
definitely. You know, it's summer gearing up for summertime. Rosés? We'll do some rosés. Rosés would be fantastic. Yeah, we'll do a couple of rosés. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Pass this along to your friends. And if you live in Portland, come on down to the shop. I'll take care of you. Cheers. Okay.